Observations on the effect of potassium on winter injury of annual bluegrass in New Jersey in 2015 by Schmidt, Murphy, Clark, DaCosta, and Ebden. This was published in Crop Forage and Turfgrass Management in 2016. The authors uh, introduced the, the topic saying that the extensive injury from ice cover and or crown hydration on golf courses in New Jersey was observed in 2010 when record snowfalls caused damage throughout the state. However, injury sustained in 2010 was much less severe than that observed in 2015. They were doing a study on potassium in 2015 and saw massive damage, whereas they had not been observed since 2010 at that location. This was this study was conducted on uh, POA annual, I think it's in here. Yeah, annual bluegrass. Okay. <clears throat> now, the the study included several different t types of potassium, including potassium chloride, potassium sulfate, potassium carbonate, potassium nitrate. They applied some of these at different rates, varying from no potassium at all up to 1.3 pounds of potassium per square per thousand square feet per year, all the way up to 5.4 from potassium chloride, and then 1.3 to 5.4 from potassium sulfate as well. What they found was is that the potassium source didn't matter. Okay, the the application of potassium <clears throat> resulted in reduced winter kill with Poa annua in New Jersey. And it started at the lowest application of potassium, this 1.3 pounds of potassium per thousand square feet, square feet per year. And you can see that here in the table where with no potassium, the death in March was 58% death, whereas we applied, or they applied 1.3 pounds and it reduced from 58 to 2% 2, 2 death. But when you applied more and more potassium, we didn't see any, any further increase in uh, the reduction of death. So the application of potassium from any form that they studied here greatly reduced the risk of POA annua death due to winter kill in New Jersey. What they have further determined was the amount of tissue potassium and soil potassium that seemed to correlate or to give you an idea of what the soil and tissue could be or needs to be. <clears throat> the, the initial um, data suggests that the critical level for tissue potassium and soil test potassium may be between 1.3%, which was the percentage of no potassium, and 2.6%, which was the percentage when a little bit of potassium was applied. In the soil, Malik 3, 56 pounds was when no potassium was applied, which is 23 parts per million. And they had winter kill. But when the, the lowest rate of potassium was applied, the soil, Malik 3, potassium went up to 140 pounds per acre, which is around 70 parts per million potassium. Okay. So... The, the brief conclusions were that the results from the controlled freeze, they also did a free study, and they indicated that plots receiving no potassium had diminished cold hardiness compared to plots receiving potassium. So clearly in this situation, when there was a potassium study already being conducted, the application of potassium, when winter kill was going to occur, greatly reduced that risk. Winter injury is sporadic in the Northeast United States, and unfortunately only one year of data could be conducted when these people did, when the authors did the study. In spite of this, the results suggest that potassium nutrition can influence winter hardiness of annual bluegrass turf and deficiencies in potassium can decrease the tolerance of annual bluegrass to ice cover, crown hydration, and possibly low temperature stress. So the summation is for annual bluegrass grown in New Jersey on low potassium soils, soils that measure less than, in this case, they had 23 parts per million. They had, that was the lowest. That was, they, those that turf grass grown on soils with 23 parts per million malic 3 potassium resulted in greater winter kill than the same turf grass that that received a little bit of potassium in the soil malic 3 was 70 parts per million or 140 pounds per acre so in that location the application of potassium specifically when the conditions for winter kill are just right will or will likely reduce the risk of winter kill of annual bluegrass in new jersey thanks for watching